Our Team 3 coverage continues with more on how the city of Memphis is getting ready for all that windy weather. Yeah, city leaders are worried those high winds could bring down trees and power lines. Our Shay Simon is live with more on how those agencies are getting ready. Shay? Yeah, Greg and Stephanie, we are already hearing that wind. And of course, when we talk severe weather, then people's minds automatically go to power outages. I reached out to MLGW and they tell me they have crews ready to work around the clock. Crews hard at work trimming trees around power lines on Winchester near Mendenhall Monday. It's a part of MLGW's plan to get ahead of this week's inclement weather. I am worried about the wind and the rain potential across the Mid-South with those gusts over 40 miles an hour. WREG weather expert Todd Demers warning the Mid-South of high winds and heavy rain to come. That could within itself be dangerous. Many are on high alert after last January's ice storm. Thousands without power as winter weather slammed the region, leading to icy roads, fallen trees, and car crashes. The last two years in a row, we've had severe freezes that have had affected our city. So we're doing our best to uh, be as prepared and, and do and be as proactive as possible. Public Works Director Robert Connect says much like MLGW, the city of Memphis is thinking ahead. We know what's going to happen. We will staff and work overtime uh, to ensure we have the right staff to do what we need to do. So, but for example, with this high wind and rain, we'll be staffing for that. I think later in the week, there's a chance for inclement weather, snow and ice, and we'll staff differently and we'll, and we'll, and we'll respond differently. Crews on standby, equipment and vehicle set. Both MLGW and Memphis say they are prepared. To get your home ready, MLGW suggests you open your cabinet doors, turn your water to a slow drip, and wrap your pipes. Just call 311 if you need to report anything that the city needs to be aware of. And some good news here. MOGW also says that they've already cleared more than 450 miles of tree trimming. So, Greg Stephanie, hopefully that will help ease some of those power outages. Live in downtown Memphis tonight, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. All right, crossing our fingers that the lights stay on. Thank you, Shay. In tonight's